Amazon birds are most birds will put out their foot and that means they want to go on you. Very sad. Putting their head down means that they don't want to be picked up or touched. Oh. Most kinds of these birds, you could not tell the difference in the boy from the girl. We're now going to give the ultimate example of how you can tell the boy from the girl. This permit, permit is an eclectic parrot. The boy, male, and you notice he's got a little bit of red underneath the wing there. He's one of the quieter birds in my house. He does have emotional arms. He really comes into my office besides me. He can get a little loud and kind of scare people for a few dogs. Five seconds. Then notice what's the main color of this bird? Green. Green. Color of the beak. Yellow. Orange, kind of looks like a candy corn. So in the way of the giant in the uh, Solomon Islands, in the Lisa, in the Green Church, in the Sun. Like, don't no ignore me. Then Stop ignoring me. Your turn will come. So, let me out, let me out. <laughs> yes. Five. I've heard that already. Same kind of bird. And her name is Ruby. No, uh, her came to me from, uh, actually I drove up picking her up from Tacoma. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I call her my hometown bird. Um, Feathers on the head, so fine, looks like fur. So, uh, people sent me this bird. And they said, there's two things you have to know about this bird that we're sending you. The first one is, it hates the color red. Wow. Second thing is, this bird has bitten seven or eight women really so the first thing I did was I put on a red t-shirt and I took a selfie of myself holding the fish. No problem at all. Posted on Facebook. For everybody who's giving me a bird is a friend on Facebook. I, I call that lifetime visitation right now. And uh, they can always check in and see how their bird is doing, see pictures of it in shows, see pictures of me working with it in the house. So I don't know why we're coming. Oh, oh, there he is. Thank you for missing. So, the next thing I did was, I called over the woman who at the time was the postmaster in Bay City, Oregon, where I live, just on the phone. And I said, here, Judy, hold this bird. <laughs> and this bird stepped on her, and it was just nice as can be. And over the next three or four months, Lady Prince Mark was showing her kids, her grandkids, the bird. And I go, hey, hold this bird. And nobody got bit. So I thought, like, why would these people tell me this bird hates women? So I went a little further. I went on to their Facebook page and I, I, I clicked the thing on, to look at their friends. Thank you. And I discovered that 90% of this couple's friends, the women, had major piercings on their face. In the lip, in the cheek, in the eyebrow, in the nose. And so I thought, wow, I'm not the only one that doesn't find piercing. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like it either. So it wasn't the fact that you were women, it's the fact that, you know, these piercings, these shiny things, a lot of times birds want to grab those things. 
we don't give it to them, you're going to get dead. So now, people say, well, how about putting these two birds together and having literally like these parrots? That, it works no easier than taking any man in the world and any woman in the world and putting them on a deserted island together as the only two people on the island say, you guys are going to get all great. Says who? That's a real gamble. Here's the difference. Two people don't get along, they just go their separate ways. You know, like two birds don't get along, they can bite the toe off the other bird. Well, just don't roll back. I know, I'm sorry, you didn't hear that. So, it also changes the whole demeanor of the bird. Somebody has a bird and they say, I want to get a companion bird for my bird. No, 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 no. You are the companion for your bird. You get another bird and put with it. That Suddenly, their job is to protect each other. You now have been shoved out of that circle. You're the outsider. The more chance you're going to get bit, because they got each other now. And they don't need you. Sorry. I'm going to put these two together because I believe she would kill them. I've gotten them this close together before. I had a little clue. So, uh, yeah, you can't just, uh, you can't just get them together.